rectification of errors. Basically, we have recorded entries, we post the entries, we record entries in a journal, we post the entries to a ledger and then we take a list of the balances in the trial balance. When the trial balance does not tally, we know for sure that there is some mistake or the other, some error or the other. Then we need to go back, look into the books, find out what our errors are. Of course, if the trial balance tally, it is not a guarantee that everything is correct, but at least we have the satisfaction that arithmetical accuracy has been maintained and to a large extent maybe most errors, there are hardly any errors. <clears throat> Now, how do we go about rectifying the mistakes? Rectification of errors is done through journal entries. What would be the journal entries? What are the kinds of errors? What would be the journal entries? How rectification would be done is what we would discuss under rectification of errors. The discussion would be as below. What is rectification of errors? <clears throat> Nothing but correction of mistakes. Of course. We will then discuss what are the, when do the errors occur? The stages of occurrence of error. The stages of occurrence of error. What are the types of errors? There are some names, errors of principle, errors of omission, errors of commission, etc. So what are the types of errors? Basically, they are supposed to be clerical and non-clerical. Errors may also be, you could maybe also divide it as single-sided errors and double-sided errors. Double-sided errors, the trial balance will still tally. Single-sided errors will throw the trial balance out of balance. It will not tally. Then the stages of rectification of errors. When is the error detected? That is when we rectify the error. If it is detected before we prepare the trial balance, we would have one kind of accounting treatment. If it is discovered after preparation of trial balance, we, could we would have another set of journal entries. And it is also possible that we have, we detect the errors only in the next accounting year. Therefore, there could be three stages of detection of errors based on which rectification will vary. Before trial balance, after trial balance but before financial statements are prepared or after even financial statements are prepared after financial accounts are prepared after profit and loss and balance sheet is prepared maybe in the next year we find out the errors so some entries would be different depending on when these errors are detected and when we choose to rectify them we would also have a small session on errors, the impact of the errors on profit. <clears throat> what is the impact of errors on profit? The errors impact on profit. We would of course as usual take a quiz to test the understanding of the entire chapter. <clears throat>